Good evening. Welcome to Health and Wellness Wednesday. I am Stephen Smith, and this is the Ask Dr. Jenny show, and we have a great show for you this evening. We are going to be talking about chronic pain. We're going to be talking about alternative answers to traditional solutions. We're going to be talking about oh, all kinds of pain. We're going to be talking about headaches. We're going to be talking about shoulder pain, knee pain, discomfort, uh, chronic pain as well as just normal type pains. I've got several great questions here to ask Dr. Jenny. Um, the concept here is not to have to rely on these addictive, uh, very strong drugs that they've got out there these days. Um, I know that a lot of people have, including myself, had taken pretty strong pain medication in, in the past when, when we got injured. But the fact is, is that we don't need to have to do that because it can create an addict. And that's not what we want because we want people to be in their right minds, cognizant and present. And there are alternatives. And we have to ask Dr. Jenny tonight. Dr. Jenny, uh, let's bring her into the studio and introduce you to Dr. Jenny Wilkins. Good evening. Hello. I'm doing well. How are you doing? Very good. Thank you. Excellent, excellent. Welcome. How are you doing today? Good. I got to change my outfit a little bit. I had to do a wardrobe change. I'm in my <laughs> I love the flowers. That's just awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I figured I'm always in black, so I've got to change it up a little bit. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So you look wonderful this evening and and I know you've been super busy, but I, but I tell you what, I'd love for you to start just by introducing yourself to the viewers. Let them know uh, about you and your credentials and, and why you're doing what you're doing here. I'm first going to say, you know, if you happen to be watching on uh, Facebook or YouTube, we want you to share this video out. Share the video out to your friends and the groups that you belong to and get ready if you've got questions. We would love to address your questions. Go ahead. If you've got a question or a comment, put that into the comments if you're on Facebook or YouTube, and we will get to as many of those questions as we can. So, Dr. Jenny, tell us about your, you are a naturopath. Tell us the rest of the story. Oh, my goodness. I'm a clinical research associate. That means I'm a biochemical geek. I formulate medications, and I have it in my background right here. That's my pharmacy. You can see the front counter there. So I'm actually in one of the nurses' stations. I get to sneak away so I can come in here and talk. But yeah, I'm a naturopathic uh, physician and a biochemist. And I own Age Vital Pharmacy Research and Wellness. And I established this company back in 2012 when I was sick and tired of working for the retail sector. And I, in my heart, knew that something needed to change. And I wanted to be the change that I wanted to see because I wasn't seeing the change. So I opened up Age Vital. And Age Vital is a one-stop shop wellness center where people get real answers and alternatives. And we teach them how to manage their symptoms with what I like to call God's medicine, natural medicine, right? And it's bio-natural, not just natural to um, you know nature, natural to the body. Because there is a difference. A lot of people say, oh, I'm taking something natural. Natural doesn't always mean that it's good. So you want to make sure that it's bio-natural. So it's biologically natural to our body. Like I do bioidentical hormones instead of the synthetic hormones, which retail pharmacies will promote. And I do all of the bioavailable, bio-natural nutrition. So if I was to test somebody for a deficiency, I'm going to put back in the body exactly what comes back deficient, not something synthetic. And you have dangerous medications, even vitamins over the counter, Stephen, are being genetically modified, or foods are being genetically modified, and we live in a country where, honest to goodness, they're capitalizing on the sick and the unhealthy. 
right? Right. Well, that's what they, they want. They want you to be sick because then they can sell more medicine, right? Whereas we want you to be healthy so you don't have to have some of that medicine. No, I think that there's a place and a time for uh, traditional medicine for sure. But in the long run, we want to utilize the products and you have a complete line of products and we'll get to that in a little bit here too. But I, I was curious now what, well, the thing I wanted to mention to everybody, you know, if you're, if you're watching, remember to share this video out, if you're watching on Facebook and if you've got a comment, put a comment into the comments, or if you've got a question for Dr. Jenny, we'll be addressing as many as uh, questions as we possibly can but i wanted to let you know that we've got plenty of room you can see behind me here that that couch is wide open so we can use some more people in the studio we got plenty of room come and join us right absolutely so uh, why don't you uh, tell us about what actually causes pain well pain starts neurologically right everyone thinks because you're in pain it's oh wow like i cut i have a, a, a paper cut while I was doing something live, I don't think it was a paper cut. It was one of my equipment. My tablet press cut me while I was trying to take it apart. But, you know, it was bleeding for like a good five, ten minutes. I had to get it to stop. But it's not my finger that was telling me that I'm in pain. It's my brain that's telling me that I'm in pain. The pain starts here, neurologically. So a lot of people will go and, uh, you know, they're taking these pills that goes into their gut. And eventually, how those pills work is it signals the brain, those receptor sites neurologically, to stop that pain. Um, I've developed quite a few different topical pain creams for sports medicine doctors, neurologists, um, family providers, orthopedics. I mean, there's so many doctors that utilize that. I have topical pain creams that we apply here on the back of the neck, at the, at, at the baseline of the back of the neck, right there at the hairline. And that stimulates all of these cutaneous nerve endings. And those cutaneous nerve endings, those efferent nerve endings, send a signal to the brainstem to tell the body to stop being in pain. And that's a functional solution. Now you avoided taking something. It doesn't make any sense. Why would you take oxycodone? 40 minutes later, it's having to break down in the gut to get up here. Right? Right. Now, doesn't it just block the pain, though, too? I mean, it's not like doing anything for the pain. It's just making it so that you don't feel it, right? Well, it's numbing, it's numbing your body. Numbing. It's not really yeah. what you want. You you want most people will go and they'll reach for you know if they're if they're experiencing a headache, a muscle tension, and other types of pain, they readily reach for the counter drugs like ibuprofen, acetaminophen is the first thing that people usually go to. Those are like NSAIDs. Um, what are the other NSAIDs? Naproxen, uh, aspirin, right? They'll go for that. Mm -hmm. but those band-aids for boobies and there's so many studies that show that they're actually bad for you and they have these long-term side effects like intestinal damage in the liver um uh -huh. recent research levels are showing that some of these uh remedies these mainstream remedies are causing cardiovascular issues and damaging the heart and these are side effects that you don't want especially if you're giving something to a child the last thing you want is to destroy their heart right we need mm -hmm. to keep our heart Healthy. Well, you know, and I was curious about fibromyalgia. I know several people that have fibromyalgia, and I know that it, it it's like their nerves are just firing off, and that's what you were saying. This is why we're feeling pain is because the, the nerves are being triggered, obviously, to reset pain, and it so with this fibromyalgia, tell us about that. I mean, it's like these people are really suffering, the ones that I know that have had it, and they tend to end up on very strong painkillers. Yeah, and my mother, my mother suffers from fibromyalgia, and she's been a guinea pig for me because it's been an honor to find alternatives for her because the mm -hmm. medication that they prescribe is a uh, lyrica. And it caused her to gain a lot of weight. So it's like, yay, she's out of pain, but then she got chubby. And it's like, oh, no. And for a woman, you gain 10 pounds, a uh, four foot 10 frame. That's right. A big so trying to figure out, you know, like, where is this pain coming from? What is causing it? It's neuropathic. And I'm discovering more and more just with my clinical, you know, trials that I'm doing here in terms of my doctors and my patients. And they don't call it the practice of medicine for nothing, right? You're literally practicing medicine. Each 
education is a new practice. <laughs> and trying to figure this out, I'm discovering that it's more, it's almost like an allergic reaction. And in essence, really when you're thinking of anything in your body, anything that is, it's like a warning light in a car that comes up, the body's warning you. So when your fingertips are numb, that's like the warning light in your car saying, okay, something's off with your mechanics. How do we fix that? How do we get you back in balance? Whether it's changing your oil, or putting the right type of octane, rotating your tires, looking at the, you know, looking at those spark plugs, lifting up your hood, right? Let's figure out, let's get to the root cause. And some of the root causes that I'm finding when I'm doing these analytical testing on my patients with fibromyalgia and I'm working side by side with their doctors, I'm discovering yeah. high levels of histamine in their blood. So that's like histamine that they're having an allergic reaction to something. And what can, can be causing this high level of histamine in, in their blood? So for me as a biochemist, it's like, okay, their histamine levels must be off. Or they don't, they're not getting enough vitamin C or they're not getting enough okay. zinc or glutathione. How do we lower those levels of histamine in, in their blood? And doing that, like I actually gave my mom a Benadryl pill. She never takes Benadryl because she's like, oh, it's going to make me tired. I'm like, mom, just try it before that. And made her wired and it took away her pain. She had no fibromyalgia. And I mean, that's revolutionary. Wow. Hi, Monica. How are you? <laughs> yes, that's awesome. So, like doctors that use low dose naltrexone for fibromyalgia pain, a really low dose, a normal dose is usually 50 milligrams to 100 milligrams, but for fibromyalgia, okay. just a small dose of naltrexone. Right? There's lots of studies because it works on those opiate receptors, like uh, on toll-like receptors in the glia cells is what it's called, but it blocks the pain. So we're making combinations for people of LDN and um, Benadryl, which is diphenhydramine, and probiotics, believe it or not, because a lot of it starts in the gut and a lot of pain and a lot of inflammation starts in the gut. And then once you start to reestablish a really healthy gut and people, they're able to absorb and create and metabolize all these wonderful compounds that God put in our bodies to get rid of the inflammation, that crystallization in the muscle. I know if we have any viewers out there when you're in pain, you can literally feel like this, like crystal underneath your tissues. And then they think, well, let's go massage it out. Let's go massage it out. And that's great. But then again, that's still a band-aid for a boo-boo. Right? You're massaging and you're tearing up that virus in that tissue, right? Okay. But what's the root cause? How do you get rid of that? How do you make sure that it doesn't come back? Right, right. Well, that's that's going to be the important part. And, and I, I wanted to let everybody know, are you, de well, I want to ask, are the viewers that are watching on Facebook or YouTube, are you suffering from chronic pain? Maybe you're willing to share some comments with us. Tell us what you're doing. What kind of pain you have? What are you doing right now for your therapy? What's your doctor got you, you know, using to help you with that? We'd like to know. Then we'd like to try and address that too as well. Maybe we can help you depending on your situation. But we want to know if you have a comment or you have a, a question for Dr. Jenny, put it in the comments. We will address those as quickly as we can. Do we have any questions yet? No? you didn't want to address we have a lot of viewers we want to thank you to, to all the viewers by the way you can go to our website you can watch this on our website under the live stream tab and go to youtube we'd love for you to subscribe to that youtube channel as well and of course we're on roku we're on uh amazon fire we're on apple and android tv so if you have a smart tv go and download the e360 tv app and you can watch us on real tv we're so proud about that I do want to preface this too and let everybody know I think Dr. Jenny is the best, okay? But she's my doctor. She's helping me get healthy. The other thing I want to mention to you is, is that I'm so impressed that she is actually our director uh, of the Medical Advisory Board for the LWN Live with Nature Foundation. So she she is the person that guides us to to try and get healthy and then i try and relay this information and then we have this show and you can join us every wednesday at seven o'clock we start actually the show starting at 703 but about seven o'clock we're starting every week so come and join us um okay 
a question that I was thinking about, and I know that I experienced it, was this. I injured myself as a kid a lot, you know, uh, rode motorcycles, crashed motorcycles, uh, primarily in the dirt, but I didn't rule out the pavement either. Um, bottom line is I hurt myself a lot when I was younger, broke ribs. And then it seemed like after I healed and got better, I was fine for many years. And then all of a sudden it seemed like the pain came back. And so I wanted you to maybe speak to that. How come it seems like when we get older, we feel this stuff that we did to ourselves so many years ago? Why is that happening? Well, it's, but you have the obvious reasons, right? Your mechanic is slowing down. So you start to sputter. That's when you, you, you realize, like, oh, wow, I did maintenance my mechanic, as well as I should have. Naughty, naughty, Stephen. Okay. <laughs> Don't give me that look. <laughs> but that's why, as you get older, your mechanics start to slow down. You're not, you're, you're not absorbing as much as you used to absorb. And okay. all of the ears, all of the equipment in your, in your physiology is starting to age. You have that oxidative stress where it literally starts to decompose. And so this is the whole entire practice of functional regenerative, and they call it anti-aging medicine, right? I'm pro-aging. I mean, we're, we're, let's be real, okay? No one's going to get out of here alive. But there right. is no reason to have 80% of the diseases that we have out there. They could all be prevented if people just like, okay, guys, wake up. Like when, when you're thirsty, what do you do? You drink water. When you're hungry, you eat. There's a reason, right? We don't just do it for fun, although it is enjoyable, right? It actually suits a purpose. But if you maintenance and you're making sure that the body has the toolbox that it needs to be able to not have that oxidative stress as rapidly as possible, we have what's called telomeres inside our body. And you can tell the age of a person, their biological, their biochemical age by looking at these telomeres. And it's like making a copy, putting a, a piece of paper on a copy machine, making a copy of that. But what happens when you make a copy of that copy, right? And then you take that copy and you make a copy of that copy. And you make a copy of that copy of that copy of that copy of that copy. That's what's happening naturally with us. So we can stop that and not make copies of the copy, right? Make an actual copy of the original copy every single time. So it's called regenerative medicine for a reason. So how do you regenerate cells? So when you're when you're taking care of your body, anything that enhances cellular function is what you want to put in your body. Anything that takes away from that cellular function, don't put in your body. Half of the garbage that big pharma pumps out to our community is garbage. They, they're getting rid right. of it, right? Pain yes. in, this, in this country. And, Oh my gosh, it's astronomical. We're talking about a five hundred billion dollar industry. That's a lot right. of money that Merck and McKesson and Marisol Spurgeon and AstraZeneca and Pfizer, all these companies are capitalizing on you, the Americans. Like, Take this banding for that boo-boo. Got a migraine? Here you go. <laughs> you know, let, let me give you some well, too yeah, we and we talked about migraines before, you know, and that's one of the things that we wanted to hit on tonight was about headaches and migraines. I know that I had migraines. I had taken, this is, oh gosh, 20 years ago. Um, and then I uh, had taken some medication. I want to say it was maybe called Midrin or something to that effect. Bottom line is it did work. Um, but what I've done recently is use CBD and kill the headache. Now, it wasn't a migraine headache, but let's start with why do these things happen and then what can we do to solve that? So there's multiple causes for migraine or headaches, right? We start with dehydration. 80% of headaches come from the consumer, you, the consumer, not being well hydrated. So the moment you actually give your body, you're being functional again, that's the first thing you get to. It's like, all right, am I, am I well hydrated? So you start to lubricate your body, your cells. And when you're drinking water, remember not all water is created equal. Avoid the tap water like the plague. Do not drink tap water in a restaurant, right. in your house, anywhere. I don't, when they say, oh, it's filtered, filter just means it's they're removing everything, they're stripping it away. Reverse osmosis, that's bad. 
to avoid water that says reverse osmosis. You want to have water that's fully alkaline, water that has all of the electrolytes and the minerals in it. Because when you have a, a headache or a migraine and it's related to not having enough minerals in your body, your cells are craving oxygen, they're craving that magnesium, they're craving that zinc, the salt, the sodium, the sodium right? They're craving all these electrolytes, the calcium. They're craving this. So look for water that has a pH over an eight. Don't drink tap water because in our tap water in every single county, I mean, they're putting all the synthetic things in there and they're putting a lot of fluoride. If fluoride is bad, bad for your, you know, neurological function. So then you're going to have other issues on top of that. And then there's been so much research on tap water giving people gallbladder stones and kidney stones. Central Florida is actually one of the, the, the highest cases for gallbladder and kidney stones. And those are all in college students. College students in their dorms, right? There's another type of pain right there. It's because of all the synthetic calcium deposits. And then you have all the synthetic estrogen. They put O-estrogen in our water. Estrogen. Why would they put estrogen in our water? So guys, be careful because you might grow some man boobs. Stay away from that tap water. Make them softer in the chest in the area you don't want to have that water, to, to have that softness. <laughs> but um, when you're dealing with a migraine, go straight to the water source. After that, you know, start females, it could be hormonal. Men, it could be hormonal. Women, if you're menstruating, that's another thing. Your estrogen is really high. It causes the, uh, the, your, your arteries to uh, get tighter, right? And you're, wasting i mean literally it's like a crime scene for most women right so when you're bleeding to death for seven days right. at least five days no nope. hydrate you too so you're you, you can have a migraine headache that's hormonally related but what that equates to is okay i need more iron i need more vitamin d i need more progesterone those three it, things it, for a woman when they're menstruating if you're deficient I wanted to just ask, if you're deficient in those things, Dr. Jenny, would that then create the situation where some women tend to suffer worse than others because they're deficient in, in some of these minerals and these things that we need to have? Uh, yeah. And that's why they suffer worse than, than other women? Or what, what's the story on that? So let's, let's educate men here so that we can be more kinder and understanding and help out our partners that are suffering. Yeah, yeah, guys, if, if your woman is like, oh my gosh, I have a headache every day or every other day or every week, I mean, a migraine, and those are terrible, but hormonal migraines are the worst. So you got to give her a vasodilator. Okay? Give her a cup of coffee, number one, that's usually a nice little, you know, instant fix, but then get to the root cause, check for hormones, look at the hormone levels, and check for estrogen dominance specifically. So, and then ask for these questions, you know, honey, how long, how, how long is your, are your cycles? Are they one day? Are they seven days? Are they 10 days? Are they 15 days? Are they the entire month? But sometimes women are embarrassed to talk about it. They don't, they don't want to take yeah. the opiate. They're scared that they're going to go to the doctor and the doctor's just going to hand them a pill and they don't want to get addicted. To that pill. So make sure, you know, to ask these questions, estrogen dominance in women too much estrogen makes her hold on to a lot of weight. I know that's not the topic, but then you get a double a double uh, healing there. And then the moment you reintroduce progesterone, which is anti-cancerous, and it's the female value, I mean, it calms your woman down. If she's crying, if she's uh, agitated, and she's irritable, and she seems to be snapping at you more often, or she seems to lose her temper more often, Give her some progesterone. Take her to a doctor. Give us a call. We do the telemedicine. We can talk to your female. We can talk to both of you guys at once because usually I get more information from the significant other person, you know? The original right. Patient. So it's really good. But call us and give us. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. These days, telemedicine is really an answer, particularly because so many people are still in isolation. They're not even allowed to go out. This is where telemedicine comes in. A real handy and so maybe you'll tell us about telemedicine and then after that if you'll tell us because you you've expanded your services as well where you'll go to the patient and help them in their home mm -hmm. yeah that's right and the telemed is it, it, it's just talking like this back and forth where you feel like you're in the same room but you're talking back and forth via 
a telemedicine HIPAA compliant portal and you want to be able to get to the root cause. Okay, I have all these migraines, I'm on this, this, and this. How do I stop it? Take a look at my hormones. And looking at progesterone levels, looking at deficiency, men are deficient in progesterone, they'll get migraines and headaches for the very same reason. So making sure that you, you get rid of that migraine right away. You, you can have uh, uh, supplements like ginger, which is a powerful anti-inflammatory, uh, turmeric, uh, is very, very good. It's an actual herb. Um, sorry, cooking more with turmeric. It's an Indian herb. It's really, really good. Makes food taste delicious. Delicious. Uh, capsaicin is a very good uh, chemical that's found in uh, peppers, hot peppers specifically. I put that in a topical pain cream for uh, reducing nerve pain, muscle pain, joint pain, stopping that. So if it's muscular, if it's tension, People work all day long sometimes and they need that type of therapy. So I usually hit it with everything, but um, unless you don't, unless you know exactly, it's like, okay, I haven't eaten today. I haven't drank any water today. No. And I definitely have never checked my hormones. So until you get to the root cause, I usually attack it with everything. My son is 13. He's prepubescent, right? And he had his first migraine the other day. So now I know. I'm like, ah, oh, my son's going through puberty. Oh no, but he had a massive migraine. The poor guy was in tears. I felt so bad for him. But right away, within 10 minutes, I got rid of his migraine. 10 minutes. He's like, mom, that's amazing. I gave him 60 milligrams of the CBD oil right away because I didn't know. Okay, I know it's going to be hormonal, but I'm just going to attack it. I gave him half a cup of coffee. I had that brewing while I was doing CBD. I gave him a vitamin injection loaded with a beef complex so I can go sell to him and nourish, right? I, I don't know what he was doing with his father when I got him. He could have had junk food. Like, my ex could have given, taken him to, who knows, McDonald's. Junk food. Right, right sure. Well, it's but convenience. <laughs> you know, and that's uh, we're so designed towards convenience. It's crazy. I mean, I grew up in Southern California. So I know about convenience. You, you end up growing up. It's like, I want it and I want it right there. And I only want to just have to run down the corner to go get it. Right. You know, <laughs> get it, got spoiled. You it's know, God good. forbid we live in the country or something. No, we wouldn't know what to do with ourselves. Right. Down that road trip where you're like, yeah. there's nothing around. You know, there's huge 7-Eleven food. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you had to mention my favorite store. You know, I do love 7-Eleven and I always have these childhood memories of riding the skateboard down to the 7-Eleven and then getting that Coke Slurpee. Boy, I tell you, you had to have it. You know, I can't, I stay away from them now. Doesn't mean I don't crave them every once in a while. But, you know, <laughs> I wanted to talk though, because CBD is a huge, huge factor here that can overcome this pain. I've got other questions on pain I've got for you in a minute here though, but tell us about, there's full spectrum CBD, there's um, just regular CD, CBD, and then of course there's um, marijuana with THC. Um, can maybe you can explain the differences there and maybe the different types of uh, applications that they might be used? Right. Well, it's all marijuana, right? That's the street name for it. So but we can call it cannabis. So cannabis is the medical term for it. It's all cannabis. It doesn't, I mean, it grows the same. Food. What makes it different, medical, recreational, and then over the counter is the amount of THC that's within the plant. So that's when you have the full spectrum, the broad spectrum, and then just the THC free uh cannabinoids and you have just plain cbd by itself where there's nothing but a full spectrum means you have that entourage effect you have all of the cannabinoids they haven't stripped anything out of the cannabis plants and that all of the of the fatty acids the minerals the, the peptides the amino acids and the cannabinoids are fully intact in that oil that they made so i've seen several different formulations on the market i mean there are a uh, million different products out of the market right now. I mean, there's got to be, you know, I mean, there's thousands of them. And I see anywhere from 200 milligrams to 5,000 milligram vials. So I'm with CBD products, 
you go high. You start high. It's fat soluble, meaning it stores in your fat cells. And so the skinnier you are, believe it or not, the more you're going to take because you're going to metabolize it faster. So the, the more meat you have on you, the less you're going to take because the body, whatever it doesn't use, it stores it. So someone that's thin, thinner, they're going to be faster metabolizers of the CBD oil. Broad spectrum, so full spectrum has uh, uh, 0.3% THC. Broad spectrum has 0.1%. And then you have the THC-free oils, the tinctures, the capsules, the gel caps, uh, the gummies, the lollipops. I mean, we, it's made in pretty much every delivery mechanism. So it, 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 it's really, you know, structured towards the consumer. Um, and I see more functional, at least myself, I make functional delivery mechanisms. I, I make vaginal suppositories for menstrual cramps. I make rectal rockets. Mm. <laughs> well, there, yeah, there's all different kinds of delivery systems, and that's what I was going to ask you as well. So you've got the lollipops, you, you've got the gummies. For hemorrhoid pain, for but, anal fissures, for menstrual cramps, for migraines, for headaches, for anxiety, for nervousness, for depression. Right. Strength, okay. You know, that you find, uh, I mean, there's specific strength for different ailments, but really, I think there's uh, there's more of a guideline now than there was even a year ago of what's working. Right. There's so many doctors working with cannabinoids now that we're right. kind of, you know, isolating exactly like what's working for people with Parkinson's pain, with MS pain. I take right. it time for the month. I, I love it. I take it even sometimes for sleep. If I can't turn my mind off, I use it for sleep. Well, that's what I wanted to mention too as well. How come sometimes, you know, I know that for myself included in the past, I've been very blessed. I haven't really dealt with a lot of pain, but then I am taking the CBD, the full spectrum. It's making a big difference. But um, sometimes we can have such intense pain that it keeps us awake all night. Why is this happening? Why? And, and then obviously sounds like CBD can help us then rest, right? because it's an antioxidant. So we were talking in the beginning, right, about oxidative stress in our cells. So antioxidants, maybe it's making sure that, that those free radicals aren't coming in there and destroying your cells. It's going in there and nourishing your cells. And uh, cannabis, the cannabis plant is considered a power plant. So a, a whole food, a power plant, just like a, a, a power foods. You have Kale, that's a power food. Mangoes, those are power food. Honey, milk, believe it or not, these are power foods. Dates, that's another power food. So what that means is it, it has the most nutritional value than any other when you're looking at the food chain for like produce. Cannabis is one of those whole foods that's a power food. You, you're going to get the most bang for your buck. You can eat it in a salad, just like you would with spinach and kale. And you won't get high eating it that way. Believe it right. or not, just like you're not getting high off of kale and spinach, right? When you're eating it, but spinach and kale have medicinal properties. <laughs> there, there are bio, there are chemical compounds in these plants that you eat that nourish the body. So cannabis is not any different. So this stigma that people yeah. have is like throw it out the window. That the government that has the patents for cannabis, right? Even though there's absolutely no medicinal properties to it, but yet the government owns the patents to it. Well, I, okay, I, I want to go back to a question that I was asked just the other day. Um, talking to a person that's a health coach as, as well. Um, and so he's somewhat familiar, but, but it, the topic got brought up about the fact that they have ADHD. And so people with ADHD, he was concerned about taking um, CBD uh with t any amount of THC in it because he felt like that's going to make him all anxiety. Is is that or uh, is that how that works? Actually, One of the side effects of THC can amplify anxiety. Can cause okay. So, so what do you do in those cases? Okay. If someone's got ADHD, then so what do you do in those cases that they that they don't want to take it with the THC because it, it creates more anxiety? Question. What would they do? That's a great. That's a great question, and I'm so glad you asked that. You're so smart, Stephen. <laughs> People need to know about that because just because something's natural doesn't mean that it's for everybody. Like me, 
I'm not a fan of THC. I can't do it. I will get heart palpitations and arrhythmas in my heart, arrhythmic like like flutters. Right. I will get paranoid. It's for real. And a lot of people will get paranoid. So the THC, in my professional opinion, is really good for someone that's on their deathbed in hospice. For someone that has a debilitating autoimmune disorder, for someone that can't eat and they need to have the munchies, THC gives you the munchies. So this is why you want to have THC for someone that has HIV, AIDS, right? Mm-hmm. Muscular degenerative disorder. It'll make them eat. That that makes a difference, night and day difference with them for kids, making sure that they're eating. The elderly, I think a small amount of THC is good for them because it forces them to eat. And as you get older, you start to eat less. And you want that metabolism to start revving up. You want them to be nourished, right? So Mm -hmm. a small amount. But someone that has any mood altering disorder, stay away. Because it is like it's like an on and off switch and it actually makes, you know, their neurosynaptic nerve endings too over amplified. You know, it they're misfiring already. So the last thing you want to do is in there go make them completely so this is a, I was just going to say this is where people need to talk to a doctor like yourself and do some testing and deter and then and you know share with the doctor what's going on in their life so that they can then get a specific uh, regimen based on their particular situation. Right. Yes, that's exactly right. And we have uh, marijuana doctors here in Florida. That I'm associated with. I'm on their, I'm on their uh, medical uh, board and I'm a uh, part owner as well. So I have a location here in my store where we give the medical cannabis card so they're able to go dispense to a dispensary and get something that has a little bit higher than three milligrams of THC. And that's if the doctor, you know, does an examination, asks the right questions, and says, okay, you know what, you're a natural candidate for the THC products. Let's go ahead and try it out. But I'm surprised how many many people do go to the dispensaries and then they're like, oh, no, I liked your CBD oil better. I like the full spectrum oil better. Or I like the THC free. I got more out of that than I did with one of the dates or the whole flower from one of the dispensaries. So everybody's different. It's not cookie right. cutter. You, no cookie cut, that. yeah, and so yeah. that's why it's important to to talk to a doctor, talk to yeah. a doctor like Dr. Jenny, um, and she's got a health and wellness center right here on Main Street. As a matter of fact, everybody, and she's compounding this this product too as well. And, and I'll get into the compounding and, the, and making the stuff up in just a minute. But what I wanted to ask about before we get there, when we injure ourselves. Is there things that we can do to prevent that injury from turning into ultimately a chronic? pain situation for a person when you injure yourself like a car accident like i just wrote a letter for an insurance company for one of my clients that comes in and the insurance company is like unless you have a a letter from your doctor that shows that car accidents affects neurological function it's like really are we going there (laughs) like to me it's so obvious it's like okay yes of course it affects your neurological functions and it's she didn't do something about it, you know. She came to this to the this facility because she was having she can't sleep, she's waking up in night sweats, she's having headaches every single day, and it's due to the car wreck that she has. So she's making sure that someone's paying for the medical bills that's associated, you know, with the symptoms that came from the car the car wreck. So she ended up winning that case after I wrote the professional letter, be like, this is what can happen. So if she doesn't take care of this, this can turn into something far worse later on. So I got into a car wreck with my grandma back in 1997. And I wish that my parents had the foresight of knowing because I had what's called the, uh, uh, the kyphosis in the neck. I had like a little bump on there. And I have to keep my weight. At a certain point, because if I if I go over a certain weight, I feel it, and it just immediately gives me a headache. My gonna feel it, and that's with the extra weight. So I always have to keep myself uh, trim because I don't want to have headaches. My headaches now will be if I go if my weight fluctuates over that the comfort zone. So yeah, if 
you don't take care of an accident that happens, you want to regenerate that area, either with stem cells, uh, by balancing out the hormones, looking at the endocrine system. You want to see how it impacts, because if you have an impact, this is why football is so dangerous. I deal with so many of the NFL football players. They have high impact sports, constantly being hit, boom, boom, right in the head, right? My friend Boo, my friend Marv Washington, I wish they were watching this, but I mean, they will tell you, they're like, if I had to go back and do it again and be in the NFL, I wouldn't do it because the amounts of, you know, damage that I've had neurologically and they, when you're in the NFL, I mean, they're giving band-aids for boo-boos, right? They're not giving you uh, cannabis. There's still a war on, with cannabis in the NFL. There shouldn't be. They should be able to freely, you know, smoke a joint, vape, take an edible or um, do a oral capsule, whatever form works best for them. So high impact sports, you have to be careful. You have to constantly be maintaining your car. I like saying, if you take your car out mudding, right, clean it up at the end of the night. Because then it's going to look bad. <laughs> All right. Thank you so very much. That's just so informative. I just want to remind all the viewers that we really appreciate the fact that you're taking time to watch this broadcast. You know, we're coming to you every Wednesday. It is Health and Wellness Wednesday. That's what I call it here at the LWN Live with Nature Foundation. We do morning broadcasts, by the way. We're making some adjustments on those morning broadcasts, and I'm just going to take this opportunity to let you know now. I was doing it Monday through Friday at sunrise. But we're going to uh, compact that down to just Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday because I need some more time so we can concentrate on making sure that we get some other things done that I've got a priority to do. One of those is going to be this referral center that we're opening up. And so we want to be able to help people get the needs that they, whether it's housing or whether it's addiction recovery, getting be, the ability to get with Dr. Jenny, help people get the things that they need um, and so I'm working diligently on that. And so I'm going to cut back those morning broadcasts. But every Wednesday evening, you can join us here. We appreciate you. You can watch us on the E360 TV app on your smart TV for Roku, Amazon, Fire, Apple, and Android TV. You can check us out on the website. We've got the live stream tab there, uh, lwnfoundation.org. You can watch the old videos that we have. And we want you to go to YouTube subscribe please we're trying to build up that subscribers and we need you to do that for us remember to share this video out to your friends as well so we've been talking a lot of great stuff tonight we're talking about chronic pain we're talking about well we talked about a bunch of different stuff for men for women um i want to talk to as well about we've been talking about cbd because that's a big player here We've been also talking about other things. Uh, I, I think glutathione is one of the um, really super important things that we need in our system right now. Um, and yeah, I guess um, I want to go to you manufacture these in the lab. Uh, you've got a designation, uh, what, GMP good manufacturing process. Now this, not everybody has this. And I want you to explain to the viewers the difference from them going down to the convenience store and buying that CBD from a convenience store versus coming to someone like yourself that has a reputable business and, and has this product. Tell us the difference there and why people should watch out if they should. And I know that they do for the convenience store stuff. Products at 7 Eleven. It's like, oh goodness, what's next? We're going to start selling Xanax and Prozac at 7 Eleven, too. <laughs> I'm not a promoter of those drugs, but it's like that for me. It's like, why are they selling medicines? Let the medicine experts, you know, sell medicine um, or uh, open up a pharmacy in 7 Eleven where you have people that can talk to you about what you're taking because I think there's some, so many dangers. But, and like you said, Stephen, not all supplements are created equal. You want to make sure you're dealing with an actual medical facility that's licensed. And I'm, I'm, I'm regulated by the Board of Medicine, the Board of Pharmacy, the FDA, the DEA, you name it. All the three-letter agencies, like hops, right, in our facility. And that's the difference. You don't want to take a supplement that's not regulated. And uh, there are so many different supplements. I mean, there's no regulation. 90% of the vitamins and minerals over the counter are not regulated. You don't know 
where they're sourcing their products, where they're getting their products, their bulk chemical, their active, you know, compounds that go within that capsule or within that sylvia that you take. There's a lot of stuff that's coming from China and from India. And most of that stuff is laced with heavy metals and toxicity. And CBD products, you see that there's fungus and mold. It's, it's not regulated. It's like, oh. So it's like you're taking something that's supposed to be good for you, but then you get a lung infection because you baked a CBD product that was contaminated. That's, and that's not what you want. I mean, we want people to feel better. So be smart about that. Don't buy stuff on the street. And people still do that. I still talk to people that do that. They're getting their testosterone on the street or in the gym and someone making it in their basement. It's like, what are you guys doing? I talked to somebody. I had a patient that came in that had a massive infection and his hip thing blew up, you know? And I said, well, let me guess. You bought an injection from someone. He was like, just back up. I'm not going to be mad at you. I'm going to slap you like a Latin woman, like a good Latin woman is going to do. Why are you buying your stuff? When it's not regulated don't you care about your body you got to get what you pay for so when you're taking vitamin supplements you don't want them in the synthetic form either so you have synthetic vitamins and minerals like folic acid that's a primary thing folic acid is good for pain because it, it, it's an antioxidant it's a, B, it's a B vitamin but it's also an antioxidant it helps nourish cells right so folic acid is not a real vitamin that's a synthetic version of folate god created folate Man's like, how do we get rich? How do we make what God already made and get a patent on it? You can't get a patent on folate. God already made it. That's why Big Pharma can't get rich on it. But you can get a, a, a patent on something that they genetically altered. They add an extra molecular structure to it, a bond, whatever type of group, whatever type of bond. And they're doing that with our hormones, they're doing it with our sugar. Companies like Monsanto has mastered GMOing, that's what they call genetic modification of organisms, right? So you're making something literally in a lab that's synthetic. They're doing it with hormones. Women that are out there that have daughters, and you have your daughter on birth control pills, for example, did your doctor test your daughter for birth control deficiency? No. Because it's not a natural hormone that they're taking. So get them off of that garbage because what you're doing is creating an environment for cancer. So anytime your body has something synthetic that's introduced and it's stripping away your cellular function, neurological function, you're causing off the stress and it becomes a carcinogen. A carcinogen. But that's what it is. It, it's important to get quality products, and that's why I chose Dr. Jenny to be a part of the LWN Foundation and to give us this this expertise and this guidance. You know, we've got some great shows coming up in the future, as a matter of fact, that I want to just hit because mental health is a really important factor. We're going to have a special coming up in September, by the way, folks. September 13th, we've got a, a great roundtable. We're going to have professional clinical people involved. It's going to be a fantastic show. I'm looking forward to that. That's September 15th. There'll be more information about that. But Dr. Jenny, let's talk about the mental health aspect of this pain because I know that the pain can get people totally depressed. I mean, they're just suffering. They're hurting. And 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 they don't know what to do. I mean, it's causing problems mentally. How, how can we help these people? Oh, it comes hand in hand. It, it really will. If you... If, if you have so much pain and that's how you're used to living i mean you're, you're playing psychological warfare you're like because then it's going to affect your sleep right so then you're going to have to figure out i have customers all the time like i'm in so much pain my back hurts my shoulder hurts my traps hurt something hurts where it's causing them where they just can't find the right position they're constantly trying to crack their back they're always going to the chiropractor it's getting adjusted and they it's interfering with their life. And once you're, you're interfering with this mainframe and you get depressed and you start developing anxiety and you, you get moody and irritable and agitated all the time, I mean, that's a terrible way to live. You don't have to live like that when you, right. there are so many options for you so we can get you sleeping again and getting rid of that inflammation because the pain is an inflammation of something. And then we're going to tell the brain to not make those connections, to get rid of that inflammation, but then also to tell your brain to turn it off. Not numb it, to turn it off. 
Right. That's the message there is, is that and those, those other types of drugs, those very strong painkillers. And we know here in Florida, we lost a lot of, I, I didn't personally, thank God. A lot of parents lost their kids. A lot of adults died because of abusing the painkillers. I mean, it was, Florida was a hotbed. It's very, very, it was a hor horrible situation. Thankfully, they put a, a, a close stop to it. But the point here is, folks, you don't have to have that. You don't have to get addicted. But do people like Dr. Jenny can help you get unaddicted to that stuff. And that's the point. Get back to something that's going to help you. Um, and that's the whole focus. That's why we do this show is, is that we want to, you to become the best functional person that you can possibly be. And you can do that holistically with your mind, body, and spirit. And then we have the products through Dr. Jenny to be able to get you on a, a healthy routine of taking the things that you need to become a healthy and best person you can possibly become because that's what our goal is here for you now remember if if you're just coming in we appreciate the fact that you're watching this i remember if you're watching facebook or you're watching on youtube share this video out and uh if you want to reach dr jenny too uh she's got a telemedicine line i'm gonna have her t talk about her telemedicine line i don't know how much we really talked about that as well let me just do one at a time. Tell us about your telemedicine line, Dr. Jenny. <laughs> go to www.agevital.com, and within there, you'll, you'll see the different uh, links of uh, different companies that are under Age Vital, and you'll see the telemedicine right there. So you click on that, and then you can tell me what your problem is, your phone number, your email, and we'll call you right back and schedule you for a face-to-face -face consult. So that's super, super simple. Or you can call 941-388-0800. And we have a toll-free number as well, 888-388-7237. You call that number, or one of our uh, translational medical team members will call you back and then schedule you to have a uh, consult. Sometimes you can uh, do a consult right then and there, depending on the schedule. So give us a call and then... It will uh, give you a call and it will help you with your pain. I mean, there's so many options. I mean, uh, even I even make topical uh, opiate pills too for immediate, so it doesn't damage the gut. So it's not even, I make topical ibuprofen and topical acetaminophen. It, it is so much more effective than taking it orally when you're destroying the gut and then causing a whole spew of other side effects and benefits. So I, I make topical incense. And it's just healthier than applying it back here on the neck. Even your CBD oil, applying your CBD oil at the back of the neck is a phenomenal place to start to get rid of things. So I'd like you to also let us know too, because, and then we're down to about four minutes here, approximately three, four minutes. Bottom line is, is that you also can come to people's houses. We want people to know that. You can reach out. We've run uh, her email, Jenny, at agevital.com. You can fill out the consultation form at www.agevital.com. Um, what would you, you say? Email directly to Jenny, J-E-N-N-Y, yeah. at agevital.com. Yeah, we got that running on the ticker for you. Um, uh, and so what we want to do too is is that i want you to kind of we've got about three minutes left dr jenny let's hear okay people are suffering in pain what is your best recommendation and i know that it's got a, it's more than just cbd it's a bunch of stuff it's gut health that helps mental health give us that rundown here of what people can do if they're suffering right guts look at your guts look at your endocrine system so that's your hormones your cannabinoids, which is your entire system for, you know, it's called the endocannabinoid system. It's like you have the endocrine system for hormones, you have the endocannabinoid system for uh, cannabinoids, like CBD and all the other cannabinoids, that's the most popular, THC, and you have your gut, so your microbiome, making sure that you're taking care of your stomach and knowing how to live functionally with your stomach, right? Taking the right probiotics on a daily basis. Um, also looking at mitochondria, mitochondria, that's your battery. Those are the sluggish, uh, you know, they, they look like slugs, the cellular slugs literally in our body that take large amounts of oxygen, goes and signals to our, our muscles. 
and then you have our actual cells, our cellular function. So look at you look at your cells, look at your gut, look at your brain, look at your hormones, and look at your cannabinoids. There we go, the top five. But be functionally, you're doing a complete analysis of to see exactly what your body's deficient in. Once you have that analysis, then you can you can really really isolate why you're having the pain at the beginning, right? But it immediate relief, CBD. Magnesium. Magnesium is so great for nerve pain. Any of the, you know, anybody has grandparents that suffer from that nerve pain, that even that electrical, you know, nerve pain, B12, folate, really, really great for that neuropathic pain or that neuropathy. You find that tingling at the tips of your fingers or tingling at the bottom of your toes or your feet go numb. It's usually a B12 and a folate deficiency. So there's so much. Migraines, again, progesterone for women. You can get rid of a migraine with progesterone. Drinking coffee. Coffee is a natural vasodilator, so it opens up your arteries. So it gets rid of that inflammation by opening up your arteries and making sure that you're oh, not so tight like a rubber band ball, right? So I'm giving you a lot of free information. So I hopefully there's people watching taking notes. <laughs> yes, take notes absolutely, and reach out if you if you want to reach to Dr. Jenny. Ask us. We'll get you right to her. We put some information out there, her website as well as her email. Reach out. I, I'm going to put it like this. I've been under Dr. Jenny's care for, for many, many months now. The bottom line is I feel better. I don't suffer with the pain. Uh, I'm an, you know, I am an example that I know that this stuff works. It's healthy. It's good for you. It's holistic. Um, we want you to get healthy. The bottom line is, is that I didn't have health insurance or I still don't, but you know what? I have health insurance because I invest in Dr. Jenny and the products that she has. That's like paying an insurance premium. And I'll tell you what is better than paying an insurance company that you have to struggle to get them to pay for you, you know? So we appreciate everybody for joining us this evening. Thank you so very much. And join us again next Wednesday at seven o'clock and have a good evening. God bless you. Uh, and if you will stick around for just a minute here, Dr. Jenny and everybody else take care. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.